everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brooklyn. This is my Bunnyathon Readathon vlog. So, hope you enjoy. Hi, welcome to Bunnyathon Day Two. I did not film anything yesterday because I was feeling not good at all, like mentally, which. Will we get into that? We might get into that later. Today, I'm feeling very much medium. I am listening to the audiobook of Alice in Wonderland. And I'm living for it. <laughs> living for it. It's so funny. It's like, none of it makes any sense, but it's not supposed to. Um, and then I'm going to post my TBR soon. Because I'm thinking of making collages and then of the books that I want to read. I'll, I'll just keep you updated. I'm not, it's like 3 o'clock right now. Late start, but. Hey, homie, so I just got back from Walmart because I had to get Easter related activities and like stuff for my fiance so I will show you her basket once I make it. I feel like she can hear me. Oh my god. Um I got got these which is just like the egg dying thing. Dinosaur and neon. Right now I am making my pizza. I'll show you pizza haul. And here's the thing, I want to be like Mary and put pickles on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put pickles on it. I'm going to be like pizza girl, Mary. So yeah. Okay, that's a great thing to turn the camera on to. This is my fiance's Easter basket that I made for her. Okay guys, I am going to be starting my book journal spread for the bunny a thon. I'm currently reading Rouge, which that's how I feel about it. Um if you are confused, I'm confused. I don't think I'm liking it still again on Forch because I'm trying to gaslight myself into liking it. Maybe I need to watch some reviews of people saying, oh my God, this is my favorite book of all time, blah, 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 okay? Because we are on a mission. So these are the eggs that we made. I don't even know, are they dry? No, they're not. Anyways, uh, these are my fiance's eggs. They're so cute and gorgeous, gorgeous. And these are like the dinosaur egg looking one. This one's my favorite, so cute. And then these are mine. It was supposed to be solid pink but you know it happens whatever and then you know she's trying her best out here and then there is this one that's yellow it's supposed to be solid yellow but it's almost there and then these are the dinosaur ones <laughs> and then this one this one's just dark blue at this point and then I don't know what this one's trying to do let's take a picture for the prompt take a picture of your current read and your easter activities so that's what i will be doing at this time 
Hello, queens. Oh my god, I look so rough. It is bunny thon day four, I think. And I just got off work. I am about to go to the grocery store to get some groceries and stuff, you know, like dog food, whatever, you don't care. But then I'm gonna go back home, obviously. I just got groceries. Why would I go anywhere else? Oh, you know what? I need to go to the library. Bro, what is my neighbor doing outside? Anyways, I swear, every time I try to film outside, I get a neighbor trying to be in my business. Grocery store. Back home. Why did I turn the camera on? I turned the camera on to tell you that I have a exciting, like, planter thing that I want to set up. And I'm going to try to do it tonight if I don't get back too late. Because I also want to finish reading Alice. Which I started on like chapter 5. And I'm on like chapter 8 now. And it's so easy to read. And it's very short. So I feel like I could definitely finish it tonight if I really tried. So we will see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, the Roomba is on. Got a planter thing. Intelligent planter for my birthday, March 15th. <laughs> yeah, I'm just now setting it up. It's giving spring, it's giving fun, it's giving sleigh. Okay, look at this, and then this is a light. Light up the plants. Um, yeah, I'm just now starting it out. Let me show you what I have. I have Onion, the green onions, cucumber, spicy mix, oh my god, and then some radish, and then these are like little cups that you like put on top or something, I don't really know, I haven't read the directions yet, Chemical fertilizer, and like this is what I'm going for, like goals, like literally a lot. And then this is some dirt packets, and then I don't really know what that is. Probably so the dirt doesn't like go through the hole. You can also like remove this. Yeah. So yeah, so I'll show you once I have all the seeds in. Radish, radish. Okay, so I put the little dirt thing in the holder and put three seeds in there. We'll see how that goes. Oh, they also, it also comes with itty bitty tweezers. One in the chat if I should plant the spicy spring mix next, or two in the chat if I should plant cucumbers. Three in the chat if I should plant uh, the spring onions. Spring onions, I should actually do that as well. This video is not going to be posted until far after I have already started this. I feel like a scientist. Oh, the posture is not very much giving scientists, but I feel like a scientist right now. And then I put this cute little sticker on top. Going to probably be planting these. I know they're so easy to grow. Like, if you get them from the grocery store and then you just chop off the white part and then use this part for cooking and then you plant the white part, they're so extremely easy to grow. And oh, flex. Um, and honestly, those are the only plants I've been able to grow. Except for I have one succulent that I have kept alive for like four years. I'm so proud of that. But other than that, it's aloe and you can't really kill aloe. <laughs> And I will be saying affirmations to these plants every day because, hello, they deserve it. And if you talk to your plants, they become more cute and gorgeous. So, like, why wouldn't you? 
everyone wants another therapy about it for. And guys, I should <laughs> I should tell you at a different time. I've been having like not a good time in here as of lately. So I'm just like doing my thing. I'm not like, worrying about posting my videos. I just like don't want to add on more stress that is already causing me to spiral a little bit okay also i should say that i want to specifically talk about some things on my channel it's not like book related and you guys were like give me books and tv content so i was like that's literally all you guys need to tell me because i have a 14 part series that i want to do and like will anyone enjoy it <laughs> probably not it's probably just gonna be for me yeah so i just would like for you guys to know that i'm going to do that also there's another series that i want to do that's not related to the 14 part series that is depending on another person to join me and um Hopefully, they will do that <laughs> and will not be afraid to be a weirdo on the internet such as we are. We already talked about like doing a podcast, but that was for jokes. And I don't know if like they're for serious that they want to do it with me. But if they don't want to do it with me, I would definitely do it by myself. But maybe not because I feel a little bit delulu when I speak about the yeah, others that I also know like you guys don't worry I have not forgot about the pretty little liars vlog and I've not forgot about the Twilight vlog. I think that coming up I am going to prioritize um uh Throne of Glass and then maybe Twilight and Pretty Little Liars because I just like I'm doing too much I'm feeling a little bit of burnout I don't know let me finish this up and then I'll show you what it looks like all right so this is her she's fully set up we got some radish and then spring onion yeah and then this automatically pumps water into the sea radish and then spring onion and then the water gets pumped into these girls and then once they start growing i have a fertilizer mixture that i can put into the thing and then there's like timer for different types of things that you're growing and then like the on off button and then the water pump button but it automatically does it so that's good because yeah it's pretty cool, interesting. Excited to eat some radishes. <laughs> okay, that was the vlog. I didn't end up filming as much as I wanted to film just because, you know, life. So I'm gonna wrap up everything that I read for you and tell you how I felt about them, how I rated them, etc. So the first book that I read was Alice in Wonderland. And this is about, I forget if she's like, eight or nine but she's like seven eight or nine or something i don't know anyway so she gets trapped in this trippy world that she calls wonderland and she is desperately trying to get home and get out this book i read for the prompt read a book with a bunny on the cover that is not horror and i really enjoyed this one i gave it four stars it was just so much fun it made me nostalgic in a way and then i went down a rabbit hole and i watched the original alice in wonderland from like 1951 or something the cartoon one and then i watched the 2010 alice in wonderland and then the 2016 through the looking glass so i this bunny then was full of alice content I love, I love Alice in Wonderland, the story and everything. It, like, made no sense, but in a fun way. And the way that Alice kept talking to the mouse, saying, 
Oh, my cat Dinah is the best cat. She catches all she catches all the rats and all the mice. And then she's like, oh no, but I'm sure that you would like her. I don't know. It was cute to me. I really enjoyed my time reading the that. The next book that I read was Alice by Christina Henry. And then I read this for read a book with a bunny on the cover that is also horror and this is about okay first of all what is this about because there's like three different plots and that pissed me off anyways so alice and hatter escape from a mental institution and they're on a mission to find the white rabbit and also like figure out what happened to them in the past they're trying to recover their memories okay First of all, I'm looking like this because my eyes are a little bit dry. And second, this book made me so freaking mad. Like everyone who does not like this book said, it was like, is this YA? I think this is YA. This was too much of like too much going on. Like this ended up being about like human trafficking. And I was not aware of that going in. It's just like, oh, in the hospital there is a woman her hair once blonde hangs down and tangles to her back blah blah blah. okay whatever and then one night file in the hospital okay so mental hospital period so she escapes and then only something escaped with her something dark and powerful what the fuck excuse me what and to find the truth she will have to track down the beast um a rabbit waits for alice okay what this nothing about human trafficking this was about a mentally disturbed woman escaping from an asylum mental hospital type of thing that was like the first three chapters and okay slay the first three chapters i was interested i was seated i was sat i was listening and i wanted to explore more of her mind and what was like going on with her mind why is she losing memories but it was more like okay there's a whole bunch of sa and like human trafficking going on and it was dark and like violent and like not in like a a, a good like way you know i feel like when i am saying that i am being hypocritical because i do like to read a lot of books that are like dark and violent but like it didn't it the vibe was not vibing and there was like a lot of unnecessary essay in this like it was just unnecessary i gave that two stars the next book i read i was i went into this bunnyathon on a mission to gaslight myself into loving this book and guess what it worked because now here at brooklyn's library we love rouge i'm so happy to say that because now that i love the book i can justify getting the paperback when it comes out on may 7th and instead of just buying it anyways because i love monowad i read rouge for the prompt read a an a monowad book that was not bunny and then read a book with another animal on the cover this cover has a jellyfish and it was written by mona Wad. so hello two for one <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about what this book is about oh my microphone did not say okay so mira's mother passes away and mira goes to her mother's estate and has to tie up all of her loose ends so when mira gets there she's like okay my mother was into some very weird things Thing. so she tries to like investigate what was going on in her mom's life so we unpack some things of course as you do and so this whole time like Mir we're having flashbacks to what happened in the past and we're getting glimpses of what her mother was like beauty obsessed and how that affects mirror in the present i live for that and i live for this book now and it's not a full five stars because in the beginning it was taking me as you saw i was not living for it because it was like a little bit boring i'm sorry i wouldn't like i'm i do apologize to mona even though she's not watching this <laughs> but i do think it was a little bit boring in the beginning how many times can i say that take a shot for every time i said that absolute favorite thing about this book and and it's what made me like oh my god is that the writing is starts off just like normal and then it's as the 
different parts go on it becomes more unhinged and then when we're at the end we're like what the heck is even going on and i listened to the audiobook this time and i really loved how the narrator when mira was messing up the words the narrator made it feel like so natural you know how sometimes when you're like reading out loud or you're listening to someone read an audiobook and let's say like the character's stuttering and it just does not sound natural it just i don't know that's something that i picked up and it felt so natural and then obviously the last book that i read was bunny the whole purpose of this readathon was basically to gaslight mary into loving this book which it worked because i am proud to report i think that she said she rated 4.5 or 5 i can't remember all the way and i was like heavily let me show you it's heavily annotating this book and, and making me feel like a professor or something so if you guys want a full flip through with all of my thoughts then let me know and i can make it happen but um yeah physically i got halfway through but i did end up picking up the audio just to make sure that i had digested enough in order to hold a conversation which you can check out the live that mary and i did with maddie um where we discussed our different theories about bunny and just really took a deep dive into the book period slay check it out if you want to just i love this so much so many things i highly recommend a reread if you only read this once because there's so many different things that you can pick up by rereading this book i don't think there's a world where i wouldn't read this book and not give it five stars like be so freaking serious those are all of the books that i read for bunny thon and four books in 10 days are you freaking kidding me i just want to thank everyone who participated in any way joining the discord doing the prompts on instagram um talking about it spreading the word like thank you guys so so much this readathon was spur of the moment and so much freaking fun to host and just like talk to everyone every day talk about books and our diff our theories and everything and i just i love that so much <laughs> it makes me just so happy that we all could come together and read this book talk about my favorite author my favorite book i can't like i just can't thank you guys so much for participating I appreciate it so much and there will be more readathons i just don't know when and now i have been rambling for so long that i should have basically filmed my marvel trap up at this point because where is it <laughs> um yeah she will not be here yet she'll probably not be here <laughs> to be honest <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you if you made it this far i'm gonna have to ask you to leave the yellow heart emoji because there was a lot of yellow on books that i read is that even considered yellow i don't know it's a shade of yellow i think let me know if you think this is yellow i do apologize for taking an unexpected break from youtube but i am hoping to be back on a weekly schedule very soon because i have as you heard i have a 14 part series ah! if you guys have any guesses as to what that is you can go ahead and leave your guesses but it's just something that i don't need to talk about right now because i ramble anyway thank you for watching thank you for participating i'm gonna go you guys have the best day of your lives tomorrow bye